Um, Jerry Haas, Wake Forest men's golf coach, uh, talking about the fall season. Had uh, a bunch of youth playing for us, and uh, we played four events and shot 63 under in the four events, uh, winning twice. Been a long time since we've seen that golf around here. Uh, the, the infusion of the young guys, Paul McBride from Ireland, Will Zalatoris from Texas, and Tanner Owen from right nearby in High Point have really stepped it up and uh, made it really competitive here. Uh, the sophomores, Woody, Ben, Danny, Clancy Waugh are doing very, very well and staying up with them. And then juniors, uh, Davis Womble and Andrew Winters played very, very solid. And our seniors, Cyrus Stewart and Brandon Ng. Um, Cyrus had 67 the very last uh, tournament, last round, which was very, very indicative of the kind of player he has become as a senior. Um, like I said, 63 under. Uh, haven't seen that in a while, and uh, I think more is yet to come. Well, uh, yeah, the defining moment um, for the fall to me was uh, Will Zalatoris birdied the last hole at the Primlin Resort uh, about an hour from here in Meadows of Dan, Virginia, and uh, hit a driver wedge, made about a three-footer, and we won by a shot. We shot 38 under. And I really felt that round going into that last day, if we could win that tournament and kind of get over the hump, uh, we've had a ton of runner-ups the last three or four years but just haven't closed the deal. He did finish the deal for us. We won by one and then we went on to win by eight the next week. So uh, I would say that was the defining moment of the fall. His birdie, uh, the reigning U.S. Junior Amateur Champ here at Wake Forest. Uh, we've only had a f maybe three of those in the history of the program. So uh, it's nice to uh, have Will here. Yes, we um, some of the things that the guys have done in the off season to kind of prepare for their March event is uh, uh, Will Zalatoris, like you mentioned, went down and played in the Australia's of America's Amateur, and him and his partner uh, won the tournament, uh, beat the Japanese team. Uh, Will finished eighth, uh, about 75 players in a very quality amateur field. Um, Cyrus Stewart just shot 72 yesterday in the uh, qualifying for the uh, Jones Cup and then unfortunately missed it by a shot, but still a really good round. Uh, he went down there and he competed. A lot of the guys played down in the uh, South Beach Amateur over the uh, break before Christmas. So um, I think as we're finding here, the better we play, the more hungrier they get. Uh, and as a coach and myself, uh, associate head coach Dan Walters, we, we, we want more for them and they want more for themselves. And uh, the atmosphere is really healthy. Uh, and they know that there's good players coming in next year, so uh, they better keep playing hard and, and getting after it. Uh, expectations for the spring would be that uh, we've got a group of 11 really good players and the competition is going to be just as great in the in the spring as it was in the fall. So we're going to have um, great competition. We're going to have three 54 hole event qualifiers kind of leading up. We don't play till early March and luckily they get to go down to Cabo and start the season. So uh, you and I are standing out here today. It's a beautiful day in Winston-Salem. It's going to be about 62 degrees today and the uh, whole team's playing golf and uh, and the expectations would be it's important that we get off to a good start in Cabo because we play there, then we go to the Schenkel in Statesboro, Georgia, then we go to the Hootie, then we go to Irish Creek, then we go to Yale. So it's kind of a two-month season, but these two months leading up to it will be really important for our preparation.